Well, this feels pretty good. This is my first and potentially only time. So you better enjoy yourselves. First and only time on the Clayton Schick Outdoors channel. And we're here, we're catching Lakers. We're not, we're not catching anything. We're trying, we're attempting to catch some Lakers. And uh, one thing I was gonna ask Clayton if I could do, which I didn't ask yet, but I'm gonna do one right now. And if he wants to roll with it, he can. But I wanna do my very first intro for the Clayton Schick Outdoors channel. So here's my best shot. Welcome back everybody. This is Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and this is The Great Outdoors. This is The Great Indoors right now, to be honest. We are outdoors, but we're indoors, so I don't know technically what this is. There's a fish. Oh, 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 oh. There's a fish coming in. Just in the middle of that intro. Come on. We are on a piece of structure out, way out uh, from Baker's and Arrows Lodge where we're staying at. And uh, this is day one of our Laker excursion with Huntfish Manitoba, the whole crew, big old team of fellas. Jay's driving up right now with Brandon and they should be here this evening. So tomorrow, Jay's gonna be filming out here too. And right now I get to spend the morning with my good old pally Clayton Schick in the great outdoors, which is, which is nice. I feel like I should have some of his merchandise on. I'm wearing, of course, one of the new Catch and Cook hoodies available maybe right now on catchandcook.net. And if you can see the brand, what? Brand new, spanking brand new logo from Huntfish Manitoba. They just went through an amazing rebrand with Travel Manitoba. And there's some good stuff coming out. So you'll start seeing that roll out over the next little bit. I completely lost that fish, it's gone. We're having a few issues with our Mega Live, so we have gone to a Helix and we're running flasher mode and a graph. Darn near 60 feet of water with some real deep water adjacent. Now I'm just talking, saying things, using bait, jigging rods. Clayton's outside right now setting up some dead baits. So hopefully soon, if not a lot of action goes on inside the shack. I mean, a lot of action is going to go on inside the shack. It may be very low on fishing action, high on people action, but we're gonna slip outdoors and uh, check on those flags every once in a while. And hopefully a flag goes. Of course, I didn't need to bring any rods because there's all these YouTube dudes out here. Walked into the shack and Clay already had the old trout tickler rigged up. Some frostbite baits, the old dragon slayer. You can't come on a Clayton video and not use a chartreuse bait. You think of Clayton and all you think is, if it ain't shark troops, it ain't no use, baby. This has been my experience most of my life too, where you get up well before the sun, eat breakfast, travel out, hunting the same thing. Early morning hunts, never see a thing. It's always like a sit all day and then finally in the evening something shows up. It makes the day worth it, but you just always wish you were back in bed, having a sweet little nap, dreaming. There was some awesome dream I was having last night or this morning and uh, I was sleeping in a room with Keevan and his alarm went off and boy just one of those like loud obnoxious alarms too I wake up with this super soft smooth gentle alarm real quiet just kind of like wakes me up puts me in a good mood and then you sleep in a shack there's a fish come on baby and you sleep in a cabin with a guy who has one of these alarms that just like oh man here we go, here we go. I'll get off the alarm topic right now. Oh, oh, this fish is coming, this fish is coming. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Right on bottom, come on. You're taking both flags, just so you know. What? Yeah. Oh, man. Because then I can bring the thing. Watch them just not go. I can bring the camera out. Well, this is nice. This is a good lesson for people, you know, that watch um, YouTube stuff and tuned into Game of Inches. Clayton kicked my butt in this contest. And we're out here. We don't have any bad blood. A little bit of bad blood. <laughs> I mean, no, from me to you. There's, there's no bad blood yeah, from no, me because right, I won. Because you won. Yeah, right. Right. But this guy just pulled like six grand off my kid's like dinner table. And uh, and we're still here, you know. I just We're still buds. I like getting abuse. Did, what I want to know is, did Jay send you on a mission to find spots? In well, case here's we do the other thing again. that was revealed to me when we showed up. This, this may have been one of the secret spots uh that you know 
help this guy win this little contest. It, it and uh, I'm not I'm not going to disclose exactly where it is, but I did screenshot the pin on my phone. <laughs> and uh, if anyone's interested in knowing exactly where that is, just hit me up. Five bucks a screenshot. They must own a decent amount of sleds, the camp. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, they you have... got something creeping up on you right now. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Are you on? Yeah. That's what happens when you go on your phone and you catch fish, Josh. Unbelievable. I was on my phone. I was trying to make it happen. Oh, yeah. So both of us on our phone. We're taking a phone break. Bunch of dummies. And, uh, yeah. The old dead stick tube jig, right? First one of the day. Making things happen. He's not like a tiny one, but he's not a big one. Just an eater. Just a, yeah, he's just he'd be a great fish for Jay, Josh. Maybe a little bit too big for Jay even. Yeah, I don't know if he'd be able to get it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, need a little help with this? There, I Peter? think we're okay. I think we're okay. You definitely get the assist for that one by saying, you know what, there's something on. Well, here. I mean, it was on your line. You just you just <laughs> couldn't feel it. This will be my first Laker of the year. I love lake trout. They're so cool. Well, he wasn't saying that, They're folks. So cool. There's another one down there, it looks like. Got him. Go down there. Drop down. Yeah. Drop down. Okay. Well, we made we made it happen. That's it. We're done. We got a laker. We're done for the year. Holy. Oh, okay. Well, I had to show Josh how it's done. But the first one of the day. There's a nice one down there, it looks like, too, yeah, actually. Catch him. He's coming straight oh, up for me. You can see his tail. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, 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 he was I coming think. up. He was coming up. There's definitely a little bit, that's a little bit better than the one I caught, I think. It's funny how, he, like, you try to, like, work harder at being subtle. Like, I'm really focused right. now. Right. And everything's all tensed up. I'm, like, I'm just doing, like, real minimal movements. Oh, no! Come on! It's tiny, though. Yeah, it's... Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen, too. <laughs> Unreal. You guys all saw that hook set, Jess. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Unreal. Of course that fish came off. I still have that in me, the... Like, pork and beaner. Like, well, a rattlebait's going to catch everything. Like, just loud. Call him yeah. in. And then you throw it down there, and it doesn't do something. You're just so <laughs> broken up. Like this has to work. This has this to catches work. everything. Oh, he just bumped me now. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. <sighs> you know, Josh, do you want here? Do you want a real <laughs> Nah, get out of here. I don't want that fish. That's just a tiny little useless. I wasn't ever trying to catch it anyway. No, you were just trying to pull your hook away from yeah. it, right? At least we're gonna at least we're finally gonna get him out of here, right? Oh, there's one right there. There's another one to no, that's probably something he just spit up and it's falling down. No, that's no, a fish, that's a buddy. fish. That's a fish. They're coming in like... That oh, wow. a little better. That's, I mean, not a horrible fish to... No, it'd be a really good catch. one for you to catch and get going for the day. <laughs> I well, mean, if you're going to eat like, one, Yeah, that'd that's be a, a fish. that'd be a good eater there. So, come back tomorrow when we're going to have like a short, short lunch, my friend. Oh, my goodness. So dumb. It's the tube. It's the tube. I have more. It's not the angler. <laughs> Didn't he bite you twice well, though first? No, it, that was all fake. It was all fake. <laughs> no, he doesn't care. It's just a little tiny Yeah, dinner. he'd be a good one for you. Good uh, one for you. I, I just got too big of a bait on now. I just, you're right. I got to have to downsize. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh it dropped. It's, it's too big. A, it's just too. He came up to me afterwards. He's just going down so fast. That's insane. Come on, you stupid fish. It had a little bit of weight to it, but like, ugh. I haven't felt a fish in a while. Let's be yeah, honest. Come on, it's a little jerk. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Is it on me? No. Is it, oh. What the heck? Oh, there's another fish there's down there. There's two. What is going on? Oh my gosh. I'm going to catch this other one. This feels way too light to be on this rod. <laughs> it's just like not giving me any sort of bend. I feel like I'm going to lose this thing. Probably. <laughs> but those are the ones you want to lose. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to get a double header for us here. Okay. 
It's just nice to see you catch a fish. Man, Jay told I can me, do it. Jay told me you don't know how to catch oh, fish. Oh, get so. out of here, Jay. I, I don't know. Jay's not here. I, get in oh, the hole. Oh, I almost doubled up. Get in the hole. <laughs> I can't even see with this rod. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got one. Got her done. One for me in the boat. Nice. Beautiful fish. Had to use chartreuse. <sighs> Got her done. But it ain't chartreuse, baby. All right, little fella. Oh, right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Pulls that way. Shoo! All right. Nice. <sighs> he just had to put the chartreuse tube jig on. Got a fish topside. Well, you wanted a you wanted a warm up fish. Yeah, there it is. I feel so warmed up. Now, now. brain on the main event, right? Bring me the big one. That thing didn't even pull drag once. No. Well. <laughs> It's a, it's a, Here's it's a little a, fella. It's a 3000 Stratic with a big heavy yeah. rod. She's just cranked. Yeah. You're not, you're set up for the big guns. There's nothing I can do to get that darker. Look at this kid. I don't know why you're messing around with your drone or should be fishing. All right, now it's on. Josh is putting the drone up. I'm catching fish. Life is good. Life is good. Had some smokies. This thing is about the size of a smoky. Wow. This fish must not realize that Jay's not here yet. Wow, that's embarrassing. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Stop. No, go down. Go down. Oh, there goes the drone. Well, it definitely has not been hot and heavy. But we are catching a few. Now, if we could just get the right one. See ya. I oh, could this take... fish is coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the contrast is just good right now. Again, this kid. Look at this guy. Oh, what is going Hot on? Hot stick check. Oh, I'm on you too. Oh no. No, I have you and your. No, I've got the fish. No, I've got your bait. And Dang it. Okay. I've got tangled. your bait and a fish. Is what my I got. bait is staying now. I think you're untangled. Yeah. Think so? Yeah, my okay. bait's staying in one spot. Yeah, we're good. I'm sure I had your fish and the. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For a second. Because stuff just went weird. I think this is the same one I just caught. Well. Bit of a lull. Yeah, a bit of a lull, but. We fished it out. Clayton came through, you know, caught a couple here. Oh, these fish are just. No, no, don't take my line down with you because you'll take my whole rod and that would not be fun. See ya. You guys are probably wondering why I bring people with me to fish. It's just, you know, so I can catch more fish and make myself look really good. Oh man, I make us feel real bad. <laughs> oh, Jeez, that looks that's bigger. a big old that's duster. Bigger. That's a bigger fish. That's bigger. I'm going to get him up here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll just get him right up here. He's going to come here. Don't worry. No! I got him. That's a better one. That's a better one. We oh, got yeah. a better laker, oh, folks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just trying to keep him glued. I was on my phone again, Ooh, of course. Big. Were you really? Well, yeah. You got to be on your phone. That's a good one, Josh. Oh, I, I laid into There's him, There's another too. fish going down from that. Or he spit something out. Oh, yeah. He must have spit it out. <laughs> Look at that. I forgot how much I love lake trout fishing. Wow. I forgot how much I hey, love being a hey, spectator. You called this. You said right now. Snowing, low pressure system. Big fish is coming in. And all of a sudden it was like... Well, at least I know my stats. Oh, baby. Yeah, this is a good one. Do you want me to do anything with the camera? Uh, no, cameras are good. Okay. I got I got a head camera rolling. I got that rolling. Main camera is really only there just for the hero shot. Okay, yeah. Once we land the fish, I'll get you to maybe grab the bump board out from outside. But until we land it, it's good. Behind the scenes, <laughs> oh, SP. Clayton Chick, the stick. <laughs> He's got a big one on. Yeah, it's definitely decent. I don't know how big. I've got it's a pretty tight up. drag on him, so it's, it's not like up. I'm coming up. I'm really. Uh, Let's see if we can get a view. Big. Here. It's got pretty big, good head shakes. Can't tell. Oh, that's oh, a big well, tail. That's a nice fish. That looked like a big tail. Yeah. Yeah, that's, oh that's my a, clay that's a big one that's a big one oh. i don't play them usually too long i kind of just try to get them up here yeah we need that head can. right up yeah we'll let her do her thing oh <laughs> you can just pull that right out 
Your rod's out too, right? Yeah, You're out. I'm out, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. He's big old duster. I like what he said, it's a big old oh, duster. Oh, 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 <laughs> baby. That's a good one. Oh, come on, baby. I, I think I got a good hook set on it. Now it's when it pops right off, right? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's big. That's big. That's big. You gonna grab him when it comes up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my. come on. I hate that reverse mode. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going easy with it here. I'm gonna wait until I get its mouth lined up. And I'm gonna turn. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That is a, f oh my goodness. Clay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's a giant. What? It's a giant one. You wanna grab the bump board from outside? Oh I'll my get gosh. <laughs> we did it, dude. That's insane. <laughs> get your rod safe. That's a big one. <sighs> <laughs> that happens so fast. Right? That's how it is. Oh man. Dude, it's lake trail fishing right there. Every time. Can you take the crease out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up, show it off, measure it. Oh, this is a fat, oh my goodness, dude. This is- Such a big this fish. This is one of the fattest ones I think I've caught. Look at that thing. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not crazy long. Like it all, it's 39 and three quarters. Doesn't quite, oh, bottom oh, tail. Oh yeah, there you go. Bottom tail, oh yeah, okay. There we go, 40 and three quarters. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so fat. Wow, so good. Jeez, what a guy. So good, okay. Should we do a quick little reel or something? Uh, no, oh, no I've good. had yeah, her, we, I mean, I've had her out, yeah. Back. yeah. Okay. What we've got on camera. Dude, oh, she's fired right up too. This is unreal. Way to go, buddy. Yeah! So good. Oh, unreal. Well, sometimes it just happens that fast. To be honest with you, there hasn't been much context in this video in terms of like rods or baits or anything like that. And for the most part, it's just that I finally got a chance to sit down and talk with Josh and fish with him. And we've just been talking about everything, like every single topic you can think about. We're getting to know each other and chatting and having fun. So we've caught a lot of little fish and uh, to be honest with you, at one point, I probably just thought I was just going to delete all the footage and like restart because I haven't been in my whole context of like explaining the whole fishing. But now that we caught that fish, I think we might have to try to turn this into a video at some point here now. So we're going to talk about baits and all that. Like I said, I do have some big baits going as well. And both of them are supposed to be for Josh. We got two dead baits and two baits we've been using in there. But I was lucky enough to catch that fish on a little four inch white tube jig. Why smaller? Well, there's been a little bit of a weather change throughout the day, like it was blistering snow here for a bit, and now the sun's coming out again, right? So a lot of pressure changes, so I thought I'd just go a little bit smaller, and I'm using actually a four inch tube, which I'll show it off from Send It Outdoors, which is a tube company I'm gonna be working with for this year, and we'll do some more announcements of that at some point and never, and all that stuff, but Send It Outdoors makes a really good tube jig, and and kind of partnering with him a little bit and using some of his product and while well, the first day using it we just smashed a 40 and three quarters so you see there's a couple more sleds here now too some of the boys from hunt fish manitoba showed up where they're doing some video promotion here stuff for baker's narrows and that'll probably be part of the video here at some point jay's coming here in the next video you'll probably see him in my video at some point too or in the next video I'm trying to do like a couple videos for this whole thing this is day one of lake trout fishing and uh, uh, it's off to a really, really good start. Like I might not catch a, a bigger fish than that for the next few days. That thing was a giant. One of the biggest 40 and three quarter inch lake trout that I've ever caught. It was just a toad. But in the shack right now, there's Josh, Marcel and Keevan, and they might pop their shelter up here and run some deadlines or whatever too. But we'll talk some baits and rods and all that stuff here too. Anyways, what a life. Okay, so fun fact, a couple baits here. This is the size that I use a lot. This is a six inch tube jig, obviously chartreuse, right? Use that one a lot. This is the size that I actually caught that fish on a four inch tube jig. Why? Well, you know, honestly, if I would have been just fishing by myself, 
I likely would have been fishing a bigger bait, but because I had somebody with me today, it was nice to have a little bit of a mixture, right? Like in the past when I've, I have two holes and I'm fishing, I'll have one bait smaller, one bait bigger. So Josh had actually this bait down there, right there, a bigger six inch bait. And I was using this little four inch tube jig. Like I said, send it outdoors. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll put something in here eventually, but I do have a discount code and whatnot. I will put it right here. There's a discount code, Clayton, that you can get 10% off of these, these tube jigs right from his website. He has also these things, which are called Big Mamas. They're six and a half giant tubes, which you're going to see me use a lot of in the future. Just, it, it didn't really feel like I needed to be this big today. The whole weather changing, it was nice out, it was ugly out, right? It was cloudy out, it was sunny out, it was snowing, it wasn't snowing, like Josh even said just a few minutes before we caught that fish. There's a low pressure system and low pressure systems will make fish do weird things. So will high pressure systems, right? I always preach about consistent pressure is better than anything. But I went with the smaller one today, a little bit of a four inch, and it worked out. And like I said, I probably wouldn't have been fishing that if it wasn't having for another person in here. But Send It Outdoors is what who makes that tube right there. Four inch, six and a half. He's got a little bit of everything on his website. Go play around on his website. Use code Clayton for 10% off. And these are the jigs that I will be running this year when we start to chase great big jumbo mambo lake trout when they're in the right mood. Today, like this. You got to have a little bit of everything. Order some fours, order some six and a halves. Got to have a little bit of everything. So you might have noticed we've, maybe you, you probably won't pick up on it, but we've also switched rods since then. Josh is on the 43 inch Mr. Big from Frostbite. And that is a heavy rod, which I'll run like two ounce baits and lower, maybe even one and a half ounce baits and lower. And Josh was using earlier the slugger from Frostbite, which is when I start to run my bigger baits, this is two ounce and above. You kind of, you got to fit the rod to what you're using, right? Yeah, when we were considering throwing that big tube on, it wasn't going to make sense using a lighter rod. Yeah, it like you, on the big sucker. I've done, a, I've used a two ounce bait on the Mr. Big. You can get away with it, but that's like its peak. That's its top end. If you're going to fish a two ounce bait a lot, I'd recommend going with the Slugger from Frostbite, not the Mr. Big. But ultimately, you want to order a Mr. Big and a slugger, put a smaller bait on one, a bigger bait on the other, and you'll be set up. Another good rod too is the Drama Queen, which is a good lake trout rod too. That's a 45 inch. Um, it's, a, it's a medium heavy, but it is a fiberglass rod. So you can still get away with medium size baits, the smaller baits with it. You don't want to use a two ounce bait with it, like type of thing in the bigger baits, but you can get away with a little bit smaller bait with that. Well, what a day that was. I know Clayton, this isn't the same day. You're right. It's because I actually had a different intro done for this in the cabin at the end of the day, where I talked about the lake trout fishing that I still had left and whatnot and about the trip. And well, as far as lake trout fishing goes, like I've talked about in a lot of videos and my buddy Mac has talked about in a lot of videos that it can be a grind. My next day of lake trout fishing, well, first we went and did something special that you'll see on Jay's channel here in a couple of weeks, I'm sure. And then my next day of lake trout fishing was a pure grind. It was tough, I'm not gonna lie. So there's no more Laker videos from Bakers. I have some other Laker videos coming uh, of a trip that I did a little bit later here that I actually had just got home from, but there was no other videos from Bakers to post for this. So that's why I thought I wanna kind of redo my outro because I also wanna talk about lake trout fishing in general, how it can be more of a team uh, aspect or a team event in that sense. And as Josh had said, that we had the whole Hunt Fish crew with us. There was Josh and Keevan and Marcel and Jay and Jay's cameraman, Brandon. And Keevan got himself a nice lake trout on this trip. Josh ended up catching a really nice lake trout with himself on this trip. I won't spoil anything because there, or I won't show any of the videos from it, but Jay and Brandon both might have caught a nice lake trout themselves too. So it was a very successful trip where everybody in the group caught a big lake trout. But that was my day, was my first day. And that's how it is sometimes, right? Like you can go that whole trip and not catch anything. You, it's more of a, a group or a team, a team event or a team, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but it's like more of a, a team fishing uh, adventure more than anything. But thank you so much to Josh for hanging out for the day. You can check Josh's Instagram below, it'll be linked. If you haven't heard of Josh, he was Jay's partner in the Game of Inches. He's an amazing dude. 
who's a partner with Catch and Cook as well with Jay, and uh, it's so good. So check out Catch and Cook if you haven't yet. Check out Josh's channel, and of course, check out Baker's Narrows. Thank you so much for hosting me. I can't wait to get back up there, as I will be back up there the end of February again for the Fish with Clayton trip. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video, and don't forget, get outside.